Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and welcome back to Maneater. This is episode 14, where we're gonna get bored by the shark. Now, last time we traveled to Site P, where there's some kind of secret government facility that's doing all kinds of nefarious things, according to our narrator. We don't actually know why the shark came here, aside from tracking some kind of apex predator that might prove a challenge to our supreme rule. So we're gonna go out there and we're gonna kill it. Probably. I don't know if it's that crocosaur that we spotted, but I have a feeling that we're gonna do some uh, side missions today, which are also main missions. They just feel like side missions. So we have a hammerhead. We have, I guess, fight an electric mutant shark because we haven't really seen any other sharks with the mutations that we've used, but that one seems to have the electric set. Goes back to Port Clovis. I mean, this map looks really small, but it doesn't actually feel that much smaller when you're playing than any of the other single areas. So yeah, I guess we're just gonna keep doing these missions until we get something more interesting to pop up. Hammerhead takes a lot of chewing. Government suppressed free energy source, the electric great white. Okay, apparently I wandered from one into the other. Also, why are we getting shot at? Who is shooting at me? So, I don't know where the great white went, but we <laughs> have a lot of pissed off hammerheads chasing me. Hammerheads are not very effective at fighting me. I wanted to yeet him into the shield. That actually didn't hurt very much. The shark decides to nourish herself on the local farm. For this an empty stone. I want to get a shot too of the hammerhead just sticking out of the mouth. Just because it's so silly. <laughs> okay, I like that the laser doesn't fucking go away. But yeah, it's like <laughs> an entire shark sticking out of our mouth. To make sure to turn off this save as HDR. Or maybe it's not that. For some reason, it saves two screenshots, and one of them is like this blown out light version. I started this channel six months ago only to be met with personal attacks by uninformed citizens like Bong Lord 69 who commented, what a dumb A-word, F-word, piece of S-word. Continue. For several Apparently he doesn't realize that now that he's not on television, he can swear as much as he wants. Okay, where is the electric shark? I like that we got the cutscene and then it just fucked off. It's like all the way over here. Look at that majestic pile of fins. Electric great whites are one of this planet's great untapped natural energy sources. Uh oh, he turned into lightning. He's <laughs> trying to avoid my screenshots by fucking becoming immaterial. See, I want to get a screenshot of him before I chew him to bits. Uh, uh, um, hmm. 
don't really have great camera controls here, so I can't, like, rotate. Because this game is only semi-supported by the NVIDIA photo mode. But you know the rules. This is part of Maneater. Just like it's part of Jurassic World Evolution, I have to take screenshots in this, and you're just gonna have to sit through that process. Or skip ahead. That's always an option. Okay. I need you to not do that again. I still think it doesn't look as good as when we have that set equipped, though. It doesn't glow as much. Alright, let's kick this thing's ass. We've done enough gaping, now it's time to start chewing. Except, apparently, I have no dodge stamina because I can't roll out of the way when I'm trying to, so... Gotta heal up. Okay, so we just have to dodge this big lightning attack and then we can get some chews in. Ooh, what's that? Nutrient cash. The bull shark is able to attain larger maximal sizes through selective feeding. I think it went out of the water there. Come on, do your big lightning attack. Great White just got, like, squirted out of the water. Okay, now I've got two of them picking on me. This poor Hammerhead just wants to get involved, too. It's like every shark detects us as their natural enemy. I don't actually think thrashing makes us kill faster by much. Great white cartilage contains mucopolysaccharin. Sugar naturally revitalize ailing joints. Only Sharkovich has 1,000 milligrams in every capsule, and it's only for survival. The dodge is not very quick. Like, I feel like you have to actually be a little bit farther away to effectively dodge. I should turn the game down a little bit, because it does get pretty loud when you're getting into a fight. Take it down just a tiny bit. Actually, the sound effects down to keep the dialogue up. So we took out that and got the atomic fins, which we're going to want to equip. But I want to see what's down here. I don't think we've been down this tunnel. No one can tell what may be found from a shark's stomach. It's true, the ocean crush. I wonder if they even created any new fish for this area, if it's all just reused stuff. Because, like, those great whites, I'm pretty sure, are the same ones we saw in the Gulf Coast area. You know, the big ocean map part. 
I didn't remember the stripes, but I think they did have the stripes. Oh, I didn't actually mean to armor up. Um, okay, let's think to the left here. Don't remember this combat music. in a direct bite fight, though, I would win. Because I have more health than a regular shark. Hammerheads, just go away. There's no reason for you to be here. <laughs> they can't challenge me anymore. Okay, we've got a submarine dock here. This is what has the question mark on it. seen a bird die? <laughs> if you have, you were wrong, actually. Are How is this guy talking? Wait! That was one of my loyal truth quest watchers. I mean, I like the the military base kind of design they've got going on and how it's all dark and moody. But it is still more man eater. And also, a lot of this design stuff doesn't matter. Oh, I just wanted to see if I could fold in myself like that. But yeah, a lot of this stuff doesn't matter because we're a shark. We're not going to be on land much, or we're not supposed to be on land much. I have made the perfect sushi roll. Well, before we continue our exploration, let's go back to the grotto, get our new fins, and then probably not actually have enough nutrients to upgrade them like I thought we would. I mean, looking at the loading screen, it seems like we're supposed to be able to shoot lasers at some point, that we're supposed to gain our own Godzilla atomic breath. This evolution turns you into a blast of atomic energy when you evade. Plus 50% damage resistance, plus 30% evade speed. Yeah, again, it doesn't look like anything really on the first tier. It doesn't glow green. I don't have enough mutagens, that's what it is. I can't remember specifically where we get that from. We got a little tinge of the green. We're starting to make our way towards Godzilla Shark. Alright, so now where are we going? Well, we got... Kill five great whites. Kill the shadow set orca. Or... Consume ten sailors. We're still only at 16% progress in our truth quest. Clover Island bounty boss. Infamy rank five. Complete Plover Island failure to communicate and investigate the government. That's just a general objective. Plover Island time trials. So yeah, it just wants us to do all of the side missions in order to get the Truth Quest mission. Alright, well, let's go out towards the sea. We can't do anything with Monster Island yet. Huh. Maybe that's why it's so cloudy here. Those weather control devices, now that I think about it. Excuse me. Just 
the shark coming through. Relax. The ancient feud of shark versus orca continues. Except not really, because in real life, an orca is almost always going to be bigger than a shark. Even the largest great whites only kind of like start to come close to the natural adult size of an orca. But we are a mega shark, some kind of horrible radioactive beast. It's very slow. In fact, I'm not even sure it's aggroed on me right now. This unholy creature has all the markers of Insectoid Commander Korg and his diabolical method. Yeah, I don't know. The shadow set just not as cool. It just looks like someone strapped a bunch of armor plating and LEDs to the orca. But I feel like them just putting the existing, like, shark evolutions onto these things is a little bit of a cop-out. Because in the main game, we had some cool, like, monster designs. Like the mutant Mako shark with a golf ball eye. Those were cool, I like those. They were kind of a standout. I do like our radiation ghost shark, though. <laughs> Alright, I don't think we can out-tank this Shadow Orca, especially because it's causing bleed damage on me. Time for a snack. I can't believe that seal actually dodged me for a second. Alright, I'm back. You better not have regenerated a bunch of your health. It doesn't really do, like, a an attack that will stun it when dodging very often. Also, his tail whip is better than mine. It's a very, like, low-speed fight. <laughs> I can already tell I'm gonna need to do some grinding for nutrients off-screen if we want to get all these evolutions maxed out before the end. And I'll probably go hunt down those other truth questers off-screen, too, in the previous areas. I would have interrogated that orca before eating it. Okay. That's another part of the atomic set. Making pretty good progress on unlocking that. 
Got another landmark down here. Is it just a dumping ground? Adrenochrome. The Great American Adrenochrome Harvesting Co. While intellectually, I understand that adrenochrome is a byproduct of synthetic epinephrine with no practical applications. Emotionally, I understand that it's siphoned directly from children's pineal glands as the immortality drug of the Luciferian elite. I'm surprised there isn't like a horzine crate lying around, considering this is made by Tripwire. It would certainly fit in with the world. I do remember this being a lot of how I was trying to find all the collectibles, just slowly cruising around, tapping the sonar button on the edges of the map. Okay, we got a sewer grate and another nutrient crate. But yeah, those nutrient crates, they give you so little compared to how much these upgrades cost. The predatory scavenger is often quite content to dine on whatever wastes fall to the ocean floor. Is anything weird in this room? No, it's just more glowy weeds. I think we need to find albinos. That's where the main source of mutagens was. Shark struggles to disentangle the aluminum web, fabrication, and untruth. Can you tell what's happening on, on your end? Because I can't. I'm just clicking. The new world order has begun to amass its forces. Many people believe that 300,000 years ago, the insectoids created humans to mine the Earth's gold. But this is absurd. They're clearly more interested in our copper reserves. the most effective way to destroy boats, aside from throwing these explosives back at them. Though I do appreciate the health crates letting you stay in these fights longer. Also, becoming an invincible ghost is definitely helpful for being able to clip through. I'm waiting for them to throw something at me. Unfortunately, there's too many sailor corpses around that I'm locking onto. But yeah, I'm trying to get my uh, infamy up so we can get the first guy to show up. Clearly, 
Now, the shark has been implanted with an RFID chip to monitor her every move. But I still have to destroy a lot of these boats just to get at the level one infamy. If only, like the shark, we too rebel against the alien threat. We can reawaken humankind and revive the Atlantean Golden Age. You know, when the sharks started throwing explosives back at your boat, you'd think maybe you'd go, okay, maybe this is not working. And we're just giving them fuel. Oh, shit. Stuck in the electrical field. You little seal. Come here. The only one allowed to defy the natural order here is me with my mutations. taking a while, but I remember it taking a while as well when we had to get the other infamy people. It seems like just tail slamming the shit out of them is going to work. We don't have a body bomb like Jaws Unleashed. I still remember that when I finished that LP, there was someone who was like, uh, can you keep doing this LP? And they basically just wanted me to be doing what I'm doing right now, but in Jaws Unleashed, where there's no reason to. Technology that Dwight Eisenhower acquired. Hardcore intergenerational TJ Top. So he is in a helicopter, it seems. Which uh, is flying very low, much to his misfortune. So we need to throw some of these canisters. Though I think we could still hit him. Yeah, he'll go up if I jump, but then he comes back down. I'm really hoping I could grab onto the helicopter though. May have bounced off the blades there. I don't think he's done yet. Okay, he is. I wasn't sure if he's going down. All right, now let's get the fuck out of here. Random mutations aren't random. They require large amounts of mutagens at their harvest. That's right, I killed that Atlantic Spade with that guy's body. NASA's fraudulent Apollo 11 moon landing was necessary. 
Otherwise, the world would have seen the domes and spires of the insectoid's lunar base. Right. That's right, not only was the moon landing faked, but it was faked underwater for the low gravity effects. Directed by Stanley Kubrick. You sure there's a rogue shark? All right, uh, we gotta get back to the grotto, which we're not gonna do right now because first we gotta lose the heat. The enemy's plans for a global fascist dictatorship are put on hold for now. I'm not sure what killing the shark has to do with their global fascist dictatorship, though. All right, back to base to get our... I didn't even see which mutation it was. I think it was a body? Atomic body. Activated, this evolution gives you the atomic blast ability. It's recharged by damaging or consuming creatures with your tail or teeth. Immunity to radiation sickness while equipped. So, is there an irradiated area of this map that we haven't seen yet? Okay, so this is the one where we can just fucking shoot blasts of energy. Which is pretty cool. Put that, um... Well, we still don't have a lot of mutagens, but we got some from the Great White. And now I'm out. So yeah, I'm gonna have to farm albino creatures, if there's even any in this area. I might have to go back to the previous areas to get most of it. But we're starting to look pretty cool. Alright, maybe let's do like one more mission and then we'll call it for this one. Great white, undiscovered, undiscovered. Okay, there's only actually one. So maybe we'll do this one and see what unlocks. Because I assume we might get a real mission. Enough of these babysitting assignments. Give me a real mission. Also, we have to test out our new ability and, like, nuke a boat. Okay, you can't do it in midair. So that was my atomic breath. You just charge it up and fire it all out at once, which will be handy for destroying these boats. And helicopters. We got a cache there, we got a hole there. Not really a gourmand. The bull shark will leave just about anything. And these poles usually have a nutrient cache in them. But some of them are just shortcuts through the land. Okay, do we got anything in here? No. We just have to pick a direction. back in here. So this is uh, an area we've already been to. I mean, these tunnels are a little less useful now that I can just jump over the land if I want to with my extra breathing abilities. Oh, we have to kill these Great Whites. Not this one, though. Fuck off. A 
pack of great whites descend upon you. There's definitely more than five here. Time to blast some of these. Well, that hurt him, but it didn't actually hurt him that much. It might actually be a single target ability, though. into the heart of the universe, you may be shocked by the atrocities unfolding the These are more like stubs of great whites at this point. Just had to block 50 users from commenting. This is just the sort of response I prepared for after dedicating myself to informing the masses about the real truth behind global events. Destroy the power node. The shark has taken a keen interest in an electrical transformer. What if we just, uh... Oh. Okay, that doesn't do that much damage yet. I think we need to upgrade it some more. Either that or it wasn't fully charged. ...to subjugate herself to the insectoid's will, and thus is targeted as a threat. why these things are happening now. Is it mere coincidence that if you divide 2021 by 3, then subtract 7.666666667, you get the number of the beast, 666. I do wish that there was like some explosive barrels laying around sometimes, just to make this process go faster. You know, I wonder if we can attack it directly. I don't know what that guy was doing. Oh, he released the beast. That transformer must have been powering NASA's insidious Project Blue Beam. But how did the shark know? So it has escaped now. And I'm guessing this would be like radioactive damage if we didn't have the body. I spy with my fire. Yes, it's time we destroy all license. For they are just another symbol by which the state asserts its control over. 
Alright, we're not gonna chase down that beast yet. We'll save that for next time, because we already killed some predators this time. But I think we're making decent progress through our truth quest, and this won't take too many episodes. I mean, the original LP was shorter than I remembered, at only 12 episodes. Let me get this. So it's a bull shark, but it... Uh, do we have enough to evolve again? We do. So I'm not exactly sure where these are coming from. These uh, mutagens that I keep getting. Oh, and we unlocked a new organ slot so we can equip a second one. Our fourth one, rather. We have sonar, hardy, amphibious. Do I have one that gives us more mutagens? We got this from killing that helicopter. Projectiles you whip shot inflict an additional 5% damage. Yeah, so this makes us just throw things farther and harder. Though this one also seems useful. Because it just improves everything. Plus 10% mutagens. Hmm. I don't know, I kind of want to take this over the tail catapult. It's also a lot cheaper to upgrade. It only takes proteins and a little bit of mutagens. But yeah, plus 25% to like move speed and damage seems pretty good. Doesn't look like a bull shark. Doesn't look like any kind of shark I ever seen. Alright. If I see it. I'll let you know. I'm just gonna wait this down because I don't know if it auto saves when you're in combat. Mm. Nope. Nothing. The shark has successfully avoided the scythe of the murderous click of alien conspirators. All right. So, thank you for joining me for another episode of Man Eater as we gained the ability to shoot atomic blasts and released a monster into the oceans. Another monster, because we're already a monster. So until next time, when we hunt down that bastard, thanks for joining me, and I'll see you back at Site P 